Hi, this is Matt Reisinger with Reisinger Homes. Welcome to my video blog on green building and building science. I've got a special treat for you today. I've got the architect of this very special home that my company completed this past year. This is uh, James D. LaRue of James D. LaRue Architecture Design. And uh, Jim and I are here to talk to you a little bit about how the McMansion Ordinance here in Austin uh, drove the design for this house. If you're not familiar with Austin's McMansion Ordinance, it basically limits the size of home you can build on your lot. And uh, they enacted something called a floor to area ratio or an FAR calculation. Uh, so the calculation here in Austin is 0.4 times your lot size equals the maximum square footage of living space or heating and cooled space you can have inside your home. So in this case, the maximum square footage we could build on this lot was 2,750. And so that drove a little bit of the design. And um, one thing that, uh, that turned out very, very well in this house, I think, is this attached carport. And Jim, can you tell us uh, how this design really integrates into the house and how that um, McMansion ordinance maybe drove us a little bit towards this design? Sure, Matt. Uh, the carport design, instead of a conventional enclosed garage, we had to open this thing up. We had to find a solution to meet McMansion and, uh, and create the pro uh, solve the problem of having a place to put our car. So what we did is designed this carport with a traditional garage door on the street face, so it, comes, it provides us some security and a sense of a garage. Yep. But then the space is open the rest of the way. It's a healthy way to live. We've got all of our cars and our other things that might be dangerous chemicals away from our house. It's open air. The space can uh, work as a outdoor living. We can have the kids play in here. We can do a dance. We can have a buffet. This is a great place to hang out. It's got a very similar roof to the to the outdoor living space, which is just across the lawn. So we have these two bookend, almost outdoor living spaces from uh, one end of the site to the other. That's great, Jim. And uh, as you mentioned, this really is a very healthy way to live. Attached garages uh, really require a lot of effort to keep that air in the garage from circulating with your house. And even if you don't store chemicals in your garage, whether it's gasoline or paint or anything else, you're certainly pulling your car in there and your car schemes are not good for you. So when you pull in that garage, close it up and walk into your house, there's there's almost no way. There is there's some tricks you can do, but you still have airflow between the house and the garage. And so with this carport, it's really a very healthy way to live and makes for much better indoor air quality in your house. So Jim, great job on Thanks, the design of this house and a uh, way to work around a, a fairly tough ordinance. So if you've got a lot in Central Austin and you're interested in, uh, in building around the McMansion Ordinance, uh, definitely call Jim and his team. They did a great job of designing for the site within the limits of the ordinance and I think making a, a great house that fits well within the neighborhood but also has a little bit more of a contemporary design. So thanks for joining me, everybody. Have a great day.